referendum is a direct vote by electorate on proposal, law, or political issue. This is in contrast to an issue being voted for or voted on by representatives. Basically, this means that the people, the vote will come directly from the people on certain proposals the government put forward. So, the vote is not going to come from the representatives at all. So, the result of this will give us the result. This may result in adoption of new policy or specific law or referendum may be only advisory in some, in some instances in some country. It is synonymous with uh, and uh, also known as plebiscite and uh, votation or popular consultation, ballot questions, ballot measures, or propositions. This is what uh, the dictionary tells us. I think we can actually understand from my explanation that, okay, uh, organizing a referendum is just to, you know, make people get participated and, you know, give their vote, give their voice directly into proposal being made by the government. So it is not that the 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 uh, member of members of representatives being elected by the people are going to be the one to decide for the people. So the people right here in a, a situation whereby referendum was organized are going to decide by themselves. So the government gave them the chance to speak up or to vote and say yes to any proposal of government. The effort of the government, of the ruling government in the Luxembourg, then was to move the nation forward. You know, by bringing up this reform that will include the foreigners or people living in Luxembourg that are non uh, non non uh, uh, passport uh, carrier and uh, people that are not born that weren't born in this country to be able to participate in the electoral process. So, this was done in 2015 by the, the ruling government, the coalition government, like I said before, the ELSAP, the, D, the DP, and the, the Green. So, it's actually not a bad thing for the government to you know come up with this uh, type of ambition, but at least asking the people to participate and uh, give their own opinion through referendum is one of the best things that they did so we talk about three political parties that formed the government yet there are also other political party also in the country that uh, give their nod to the referendum organized by the ruling party so parties like csv you know they supported parties like uh, you know uh, uh, other left other left parties you know all of them also give their nod for the ref re referendum to go on and the proposal or the question raised uh, that will make people to come up and uh, vote and see if it is possible that they can uh, you know, expand the scope whereby people will be able to participate in the election. So the political parties, some of them also agree with it, except uh, ADR. Uh, the right-wing uh, political party in the country that refused that uh, you know totally go against uh, uh, these three questions raised by the by the parliament or by the by the government in power. So, apart from the political parties in the country that supported this idea, there are also pressure groups also that supported this idea that at least let's open up the country and let's let let the people living in the country be able to participate and have a say in the country where where, where they live so the trade unions the pressure groups and the newspapers also in the country agree that the three points raised is okay and let's you know try try to referendum and try to see if people will agree you know so, there are other small trade unions in the country that refused, that didn't give a nod to this uh, question being raised by the, by the government in power. What is uh, 
very important for us to notice uh, the issue of uh, social media at, the, at, at that particular point in time. There are two people uh, that came together to, you know, a website. Uh, they called the, the name of the website need2015.lu whereby, you know, they use this platform to campaign, campaign rigorously against the, the referendum being organized in the country. The name of the two guys were Fred Quip and uh, Steve Kodesh. They set up this uh, website so that at least they can also uh, bear their own mind and uh, call people to see the reason why uh, the country should not go the way of the government. They shouldn't vote on these three points. But what were their own main uh, disagreements with this uh, idea? They came up with uh, two points. They said this was going to you know, destroy the, the national identity of, uh, of Luxembourg and that's why they don't want this thing to happen. And they think it's, it's 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 going to make them to lose the, the the national the national cohesion in the country. So they set up this website to be able to uh bring people in, talk to people, and be at their own mind, which actually not is not a bad uh, not a bad thing to do as well. So, but what was the result of this uh, exercise by the government in power then? We mentioned in the government in power, I think, uh, yeah, the, 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 the prime minister, you know, the name is uh, Mr. Savia Better, was the one that uh, was really behind this idea, totally, to push this through. And uh, what was his own uh, defense on uh, making sure that this ref ref referendum uh, uh, come through or came through? He said... Uh, it will actually give the give Luxembourg or make Luxembourg unique in the community of nations, uh, whereby the foreigners are given the chance to come up and uh, vote in uh, in general election. Because majorly in the in the in the old world, there are no country that will actually allow foreigners living in the country to come in without having uh, the nationality yet. Or not being born in the country yet to participate in their, you know, in choosing their leader in the country whereby they, they reside. So Luxembourg was trying to, you know, Mr. Savia Better through, you know, the other three, the other two political parties with his own party also tried to, you know, bring this new idea up so that uh, at least Luxembourg will be unique. But what, are, what were the three points or three questions raised then that, uh, they want uh, to people to vote upon and uh, pass through, so that they come, the, the country can, uh, you know, or people can enjoy a new political system. Number one is low, lowering the vote, the voter, the voting age from eighteen to sixteen, and number two is allowing the non-national to vote in general election, provided they've lived in the country in Luxembourg for at least ten year ten year period and had participated in local and uh, European election. The third point is introduction of 10-year term limit for members of the government. These were the three points uh, put forward to be voted yes or no in the last uh, referendum vote put forward by the government. But unfortunately, the results of the referendum came back as a nay, that is a no, so it didn't pass. So the Prime Minister, Mr. Xavier Bete, and the rest of the government had to be, you know, forced to abandon the project of reforming the uh, the Luxembourg elect electoral, electoral law, which is the constitution that, that is guiding the election in uh, Luxembourg. What were the results? The first question on the votes, on the vote, vote before 16, uh, to be able to vote by 16 years old uh, was comprehensive, comprehensively rejected, like I said, 80.87% to 19.13%. The second one also for non-national to be able to vote came back, you know, negatively to 
and the margin is at 78.02% to 21 to 21.98%. So, and uh, the final question, which was, uh, you know, extending the the time limit for, for the politician uh, in the country. So that also came uh, as negative. So with the margin of 63.93, voting against it and uh, 30.07, vote for it. So this was the result. But why am I saying this? The reason why I'm trying to bring us, uh, you know, closer to what happened in the past, yeah, it's because of what is going to happen on the 8th of uh, September, the voting that's going to happen on the 8th of September. So, I mean, 8th of October, sorry, 8th of October. It's just to let the foreigner know or the rest of the people living in the country to know why uh, non-national or the foreigner cannot participate in the general election by choosing whereby we're going to choose or whereby we're going to choose uh, the members of House of Representatives. So it's not uh, it's not open for the foreigner. But you remember that uh, voting in the local government election was open for the foreigners. So we just need to you know, get abreast of the information uh, in Luxembourg. So if you're looking to vote in general elections, uh, definitely you must have the passport first. Or maybe you are born here or something, then uh, it will be okay for you to vote here. But it's good to participate in the election. Even it's good if, as you are a, a, a non-national, you can also join the political party of your wish. You can be there and uh, like that and uh, from there you get a closer to you know what is happening in the country or the political party system in the country so it's okay let the children of the foreigner here you know take the advantage take the bull by the horn by joining any political party around there it is good and it is all right so i we come back again to let us know like I said before in the previous broadcast, you know the names and the the names of the the political party leaders representing their party, and the name of the political party that uh, are participating in this uh, coming election. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to participate, like, share, and comment. Uh, I don't know it all. If you have any contribution to, you can uh, please kindly put uh, your comment. Put your comments in the in the comment section below or you can try to call me. Let us talk about it. I'm ready to learn too. And we need to spread positive information. Thank you so much. See you next time. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest videos.